Hey guys, uh, today it's uh, April 13th, uh, 10 days before the race in Texas, uh, my first Ironman and I would like to show you one day of my life. First is a swimming and will contain the training uh, from 800 meters warm up and then we have three times 1200 meters where I'm gonna aiming uh, first two 1200 meters for the LT1 uh, pace so my lactate threshold one and the last one will be race pace so we'll be a little bit slightly faster than that we'll see how it goes I'm gonna test some new equipment from you so we'll see how much faster I will be with the wetsuit compared with the with the normal swim tracks so see you and hope so you enjoy it this is for uh, uh, cycling and running and this is for swimming I'll tell you a secret this pool this was about 26 years ago, I had the first competition here, swimming competition. So, and I won. I tried to put the sleeves off, and I reckon that that makes like 0 0.6 seconds per Per hundred, that's just pure guess. So, but I feel much more comfortable. That could be like how 20 seconds uh, saving with the tri sleeves. I swam uh, 14:02, which is yeah 110 pace. And just in the trunks, in the swimsuit, I was doing 14:25. Yeah, the lactate was about 1.8, so below below the lactate one threshold and this was a little bit higher which I think that that's good for me for the Ironman I feel really comfortable all the time and just just keep my focus on the technique and rhythm yeah it was a good session so I'm really happy about that So went very well and thank you for the help. This is this is Andy, two times Slovak uh, time trial champion. I have learned so much about uh, the TT from him and he was uh, riding behind me to check in up. Suffering behind him <laughs> Suffering. today. He was checking my position if it was okay. What do you think about the training? I Next time I need a motorbike to follow you, I think. <laughs> Yeah, on, on the road bike is quite hard and with this wind, we did uh, two hours, uh, about 20-30 minutes warm up and then we did uh, 40 minutes, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to go 280 watts but I was a little bit over excited about the new equipment, so I went like 292 maybe, so a little bit too fast as I wanted. But then I took five minutes rest between and then went 30 minutes, uh, 300, 302 watts. And that was as, as I wanted to, to do it. And then five minutes another, took another two gels, 50 grams of carbs, and went 20, 20 minutes uh, between first 10 minutes, 320 and last 10 minutes, 330. And my heart rate was really good. so. So yeah, it was it was quite hard on my legs. Uh, that 30, 330 because we went against big wind and I was I was a little bit overgreening. I think I went uh, too low cadence, but yeah, and it's a little bit different to riding uh, a triathlon TT bike and uh, the road TT bike. Maybe you can say a couple of differences. Yeah, there is uh, like. Uh, on the road TT bike you have these uh, UCI rules where you uh, have to be within certain measurements for the uh, for the armrests for example 
uh, but uh, yeah, you can say that the, the triathlon GT bike is faster, but really I've never experienced somebody faster than him today, so... Okay, so now it's the last part of the day. Uh, it's a 30 kilometers run after the bike. I'm gonna 10 minutes, a little bit warm up, first 10 minutes, and then and then just try to hold about 350 pace uh, till 30 kilometers. We'll see how it goes after after hard bike and and uh, hard swim. But yeah, I'm just trying to keep the nutrition uh, on the top, and we'll see how it goes.